Look at this shit. <sighs> Broke my damn leg. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. I appreciate you all for joining me. Happy Tuesday as always. Um, it's crazy. It's crazy. I had a I had a good ass time in uh, in Colorado, right? We did all the snowboarding and all that stuff, right? I, I got one day in, and then the next morning, basically what happened was I, I snowboarded all Monday. Got there Sunday, snowboarded all Monday. Had a grand old time. Tuesday morning, um, I was walking out with my snowboard to the shuttle to go snowboarding for day two, and I slipped and I broke my leg. I broke my damn leg in half. Um, I have a spiral fracture of the fibula. Uh, it's about it's about this long. The fracture itself, I also messed up my ankle pretty good, so kind of sucks. But what are you going to do? You know, that's life, people. And all I can do as a YouTuber... And someone with the show is to just let you guys know how I handled the whole thing because it, it's kind of damper into my uh, into my plans for the next few weeks, you know. So I'm going to give you some tips, OK? And the number one tip I can give you is you have to inform everybody Im immediately, OK? If this ever happens to you, you ever break something. I'm trying to think of like another situation which would be similar other than like breaking a bone or getting. I mean, if you got sick, you know, I guess or something. Like, I don't know. Whatever. If something crazy happens to you. What you got to do is you have to make sure you inform everybody immediately. You can't post on social media nothing. I went ghost. I don't know if you guys know, but like, or noticed, if you guys follow me on Instagram or whatever, um, I was all over my stories, right? I DJed a club on Saturday night, pulled an all-nighter, flew to you know Colorado, did, you know went snowboard, all this stuff. I was all over my stories, and all of a sudden, I disappeared. <laughs> so, because... I broke my leg and I knew right away I had a wedding. I had a wedding this past Saturday. I would have had a wedding this past Saturday. It's it's depressing. Literally the first wedding in my life I've ever had to miss um, due to any circumstance ever. And so I couldn't, you know, you don't want to just go and post and, you know, as much as I wanted to cry on my story and be like, oh, my God, I didn't break my ass, but I broke my leg. Holy shit. You know, and let everybody know you got to wait. You, you can't, you know, you got to make sure you don't want nobody finding out through social media. You know, you don't want your couples finding out through social media. Like, Oh, Oh my God. Or anybody that books you, Oh, you have a broken leg. I just saw on social media. Are you still good for this week? You know what I mean? Like you're going to create a shitstorm for yourself. So I literally, the timeline was I broke my leg. They brought me to uh, urgent care. They put me in a stint. They gave me an x-ray confirmed broken leg, gave me a couple of pain pills. I literally left urgent care an hour later. I went right back. I limped up to my bedroom where I was staying in the Airbnb and I got my cell phone and I started making calls immediately. I was still in a shit ton of pain. It still hurt, but I started making texts and calls. I hit up Jason Janai, you know, for SCE event group, right? For all weddings, bro, I broke my leg. We got to make moves. I hit up Steph, who's a queen bee in our office at SCE, right? Broke my leg. We got to make moves. I hit up, um, you know, uh, uh, Jason Weiss, who books me with Double Down, who uh, does a lot of the clubs, right? Anybody books me, I hit up immediately. Then once we got it, you know, they all know, okay, so that's good. Then I hit up all my couples, right? Any couples that I have the, until March. Um, and it's only two, honestly. I just had the one on Saturday, and I have one wedding um, February 18th, and that's it. It's like the slow season. So I only have one wedding all month of February. So hit them up, called the one for February. Hey, listen, I'm so sorry. I broke my leg. If I can make it, I will. But like, you definitely need, you know, I'm not going to be as effective with a broken leg. So like, you know, we're going to replace me. And that's, and if you guys were wondering too, you know, um, luckily this is our off season. So most of the DJs or all of our DJs really on the 18th in particular are available. So, you know, it's pretty easy. Jeff Scott gold. He's been on my show before. He's going to replace me at this wedding. If I can be there and mix, I will. The toughest part about my injury is, and this is what I explained to my couple too, is that like, you know, it's my right leg, so I can't drive. And that's the hardest part. If I could drive, it would make things a little different. You know, I could get a scooter. I can kind of like figure this out, you know, stand up or sit down while I'm DJing or, you know, I don't know, just make this work somehow. But the whole no driving thing kind of sucks. So right now I'm in a cast for two weeks and we figure out if I need surgery after two weeks, see how it heals. I'm like taking all the supplements, trying to, you know, stack all the cards in my favor and, uh, you know, and take it from there and get a good timeline. And that's the next step. So when you get a solid timeline, unfortunately, I don't have one yet. They said, we're going to see how you heal in two weeks. I'm like, all right, great. So now I got two, you know, 14 days to burn. But at the end of this two weeks, you know, we figure out what's going on. I can lay out a solid timeline. Then I have to reach out to any additional couples or any additional events or anything I'm doing that I might have to miss or, you know, depending on the situation. But who knows? Maybe it heals good and I'll be able to drive sooner than later and I can keep it pushing. But, you know, it's all you have to inform everybody. You have to you have to think of, 
you know, all your obligations, all everything you need to take care of, you need to take care of first before you go on social media and make any announcements and tell anybody. That way, everything's kind of set. There's no surprises. It's just the right thing to do. Save, save you a lot of, you know, save you from having to put out a bunch of fires.